Hi, hello YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna unbox. I'm gonna be unboxing the latest pickups that I got from Right Stuff. This is for the Fate Stay Night. I don't think this is the complete series, but it's a good chunk of them. So I did pick up this one, which was a new release, which is Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, the complete Blu-ray box set. And in the process, I just decided to pick up the rest of these two. I have heard great things about Fate Zero, so I definitely wanted to pick that one up. And then these two are sort of like companion movies to Fate's Date Night, Unlimited Blade Works. And then this one was a recent movie release uh, that I actually, I remember when I was watching the anime awards for, for last year, for 2019. This one came up on a lot of lists. There, I remember the people saying that it had great action scenes, great animation. So that kind of also got me excited for this one. So I also decided to pick this one up. But anyways, let's get started into these unboxings. I will probably do this one last just because it's the, the most recent release. So, you know what, I'll do these. Let's start with Fate Zero. All right, so on Fate Zero, I really don't know anything about this anime, but I have heard that this was probably a lot of people's favorite. So I'm pretty excited to, to watch this one. I still need to go back and figure out how I need to watch these in which order, but I know a lot of people start off by watching this one here. So I might just do that, go ahead and do that as well. But anyways, this is an Aniplex release. Here's the back of the release here, which does have some nice artwork. Aniplex does always have some nice box sets, or at least I tend to like them. They're just a little bit pricey, but I still like them. This one does include Japanese and English, but so they're both stereo tracks, whether you watch it in Japanese or English. Okay, it is from Aniplex. Let's just get this thing open. All right. So with the Aniplex titles, I usually like to keep these little sort of border thingies kept on the Blu-ray sets. And now that I took off the wrapper, it actually looks much nicer. The silver here, you can see that it's sort of shiny. I don't know if it, you can capture it on the camera, but there you can kind of see that it's supposed to be a little shiny, which looks really nice. And it has that same effect here on the spine as well. And in the back, I don't know why, these sets always look much better when it's, once you remove the wrapper. But that's pretty much it, with, at least for the front, spine, and the back. Now let's see what we get inside. So we do get a booklet and two Blu-ray cases. Let's take a look at the booklet first. So it looks very simplistic, very minimalist. And then the back is just plain white. And look at this, it's just a really cheap, thin, thin booklet. Nothing like the Funimation and Sentai booklets, which are always hard book at, on Sentai, and then at least with Funimation, they're at least pretty thick. But nope, for Aniplex, you pay the most premium price and you get this type of booklet. But anyways, inside we do get some nice artwork. And then sort of summaries of each episode. And then some more artwork. And then what is this? So the second season, okay. So same thing, summary of every episode, but for the second season. And I think that's pretty much four here. It just tells you how many episodes are on each disc. But yeah, that's pretty bare bones there. Not so, not too much, not anything special in the booklet. 
But the Blu-ray set, these do look really nice. Let me take off the flash here. All right, so here's the front of the first Blu-ray case. I'm gonna get a little bit more close-up on here. Then, oh, this is actually second second season, so I opened it a little, up a little bit backwards. Then we have this thing here again. I'm pretty sure I guess that's pretty important in the anime series. And then inside, the discs do have a little bit of artwork, which is nice. And on the back as well, we also get some artwork. Now for the first season, which I opened them backwards, you get this image here on the front of the Blu-ray case. And then we turn it around and we get this awesome image. Ooh, I really, I really like how this one looks. I don't know why it reminds me of the movie 300. And then opening it up, the discs are pretty much the same as well. Actually, the artwork on the background is identical between both sets. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all you get with the Fate Zero Blu-ray box set, which to be honest, it's not that much. Um, it looks very nice. I do like the box, but for the price tag that you're paying for this one, I would have thought, I don't know. I don't think it's actually worth it, but I am a collector, so I did decide to go ahead and purchase it. Let's see, let's go into Fate Grand Order. So I kind of already showed you the front and the back, so let's just go straight into opening this guy up. So this one doesn't kind of wrap around, so this one comes out easily. And how do I open this up? So okay, so this one comes out from the side. It does come with this nice, I do like it with my sets come with a little protective box and then on the inside you get sort of like a digi book let's put that to the side for now and we get the two discs one of them is the blu-ray disc and then the other one is actually a compact audio disc so this this i guess the soundtrack is included in here is there anything in the back Nope. All right. And then in here we get, what is this? It's just some promotion to a video game or something. We get this guy and we do get another booklet. So this one's pretty basic, but at least inside in this one, we actually do get some character art. So yeah, that's all that's included in this set, which honestly, I kind of like it. I do like how, how this kind of opens up like that. So, Nice set here. I'm just gonna put everything back. All right, so now let's move on to these two films, which these are actually really nice sets. I really like the way that these look. So let's open up the first one first, which is this guy over here. So again, I've already kind of showed you guys the box, so I'm gonna go straight into removing the wrapper. And this one's another one, sort of just like a little J card. But I'll probably keep that on there with the set when I put this back on my shelf. So here's the front, and it looks much nicer now that I've taken off the wrapper. It's a nice matte finish. 
and it has some beautiful art there. And then the border, it's pretty tiny. It's a really thin border, but it, it actually looks pretty nice. It's like a nice silver border. So that looks pretty cool. And then here's the spine. So up there you have the little Aniplex logo. And then Fate's Day Night, Heaven's Fuel, Chapter One. And then Blu-ray, even though they include it in these huge DVD sets. And then the back, there's honestly nothing much back here. It's just this little um, sigil. I'm not sure what that represents. I haven't seen the anime, but yeah, I mean, there's not much to show there. So honestly, I think I'll just keep this on here. I honestly prefer to see this text here. At least you can see what's included in the set. But yeah, let's go inside now. Oh man, I really like the way these are set up. All right, so we get another sort of like a digi pack here. We get a hardcover booklet and it's really nice. You guys can see there that the it has sort of that purple shiny effect to it. And then, so it looks like we get two booklets in this one. One of them is a hard book, art book. And then the other one is a, is a small little paperback. Um, and I guess it's animation material. So it's pretty much the same thing. They're both art books. Let's take a look at this one first. Let's see which one is better here. So this one will include these materials in here. So this one might be more more reading material here. There's a lot of text on this one. And I did see in the index, there's sort of like interviews and stuff like that. So if you guys like these type of things in your sets, this one is definitely cool that they separated them. In this case, all of this sort of reading material is included in this soft cover. And now let's take a look at what's inside of the, the actual art book. Oh wow, so I'm gonna kind of flip through these pretty quick, but it looks like every single page has different art on it. I don't like that one. But yeah, that's pretty nice, I do like. I'll probably go through these as I'm watching the movie. So I do like this art book, it's pretty nice. Now let's take a look at the Digipack. Put that art book right here. So I haven't seen these, but these, these movies look really good. I mean, if you guys have heard anything about these, let me know, what, or have seen it. Let me know what you guys think of this film. But this Digipack, it kind of opens up like that to showcase this beautiful art here. looks really good in my opinion and then we have a small little quote here as well as the two discs on the other side so one of these is the blu-ray and for this one as well we also do get an original soundtrack and then on the back there's no art there so that's but I don't really mind because the art here is really nice All right, so that's the first film. Now let's check out the second film. All right, so same thing here, except this J card is actually up on the top, whereas this one came up from the bottom. Oh wait, before, dang it, I already took everything out. I'll put this over here. But before I show you guys that, this kind of has the same thing here. Now you can see the full artwork that's here on the front. Which I honestly, I don't understand this one. I don't know why she's, she's kind of facing downwards like that. But I guess it has something to do with the anime. And then on this one, you also get that same thin border, but in this case, the color is red. 
which I don't know, I feel like they could have chosen a different color because it blends too much with the, the background color on the artwork here. So you can't really see it as much as you can with the purple set. So I think so far, I think my pur the purple set is probably the better one in my opinion. So here's the spine again. The spines look pretty similar. This one's just chapter two, Lost Butterfly. And then on the back, we have that same icon there, but with the red, red tint to it. All right, so now let's get into the extras here. So again, we get two booklets and the Digipack. So this, I mean, it's probably gonna be the same or it looks pretty similar to each other. So the weird thing is that each one of these has a different soundtrack. I guess they use different music in each of these movies. But wow, that's actually a lot of tracks. I didn't look at the other one, but this has 37 different tracks. And then inside, pretty much the same. I think this is all fan art at the end. The other one had this too. I didn't show it as much. And then again, a bunch of interviews and reading material. So that's the soft cover, and then here is the hard book, art, art book, <laughs> or the hardback art book. So I actually really like how these look. I like the, the art that they have here on the front and the fact that it's kind of has that shiny effect to it. And the other one, it was purple. This one is all red. Oh, there's, I didn't see this on the back of the other one but they have sort of like a, a long little quote here that you can read. You guys wanna read it? There you go. Actually, that's kind of hard to see. It's not focusing very well. There you go. All right, now let's kind of go through all of the art included in this set. I thought I saw Saber over here. Yeah, she actually looks pretty cool in that suit. I think that's might be like her evil suit or something. I'm not sure, I haven't seen this anime. I'm gonna just keep going here. She looks like a really cool character. I'm excited to see why everyone likes her so much. But yeah, honestly, I think these art books are probably like the best art books I've ever seen in any anime set. So, bravo to Aniplex for, for this set. It looks really nice. And then here's the artwork on the back of this Digipack. I don't know why my camera has been focusing very well today. Honestly, I think the artwork on the first set was nicer than this one. At least it was just all one long art piece of, or like, like a long, big frame of art. This one, it kind of, there's kind of like three different ones. And then in here, it's pretty much the same uh, little quote there. That actually looks like the same quote. It might be the same one. And the discs are pretty much the same too, just a different color. This one is red, the other one was purple. But yeah, these are both great sets. I think my favorite one between these two was that one, but still pretty nice, both of them. They actually made me want to go and watch this anime pretty soon. The artwork looked really nice on these. All right, so now we get into the newer release, which is this one. And the anime per se is not new, it's just the, this specific release is, is new. So let's open this up. I got stuck over here. So again, this one sort of has that same border as Fate Zero. So I'm gonna keep that on there. And let's take out, let's see what's inside. 
Well, I mean, you can kind of see all of the artwork on there. But yeah. So in here, this one is pretty similar to the Fate Zero set. So you get a little, really thin little booklet. Again, not much stuff in here, just all of the episodes on each disc. One little art frame there. And then two little art frames. So I guess there's two different art frames in here, which is not much. So I think these sets, I guess it's more of an affordable set because I know originally the Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works was split up into two sets. And I actually haven't seen an unboxing to that those recently. I think I've seen it a while back, so I don't remember what's included. But they were definitely much included much more than this little booklet. So this is more of an affordable set, even though it's not too cheap, but it's cheaper than getting the other ones, which I think even now they're out of print, so you would pay ridiculous amounts if you wanted to get those other two sets. But anyways, this is the first season. Here's the artwork on this Blu-ray case. Here's the spine. And then here's the art on the back. And then this one does have some art on the back here. I'm not sure what it is though. It kind of just looks like there's somewhere in space. This is disc two, disc three, and disc four. Let's see if we can make out what's on the back here. Yeah, I honestly, I'm not too sure. It looks like a black hole or something. Now let's go into the second season. So here's the artwork here on the front. Here's the spine, the complete second season. And then the artwork on the back. So yeah, between the first and second season, I think I like the artwork better that they used here on the, on the first season. And then again, the discs are pretty much the same. I can't really make out what's back here either. Nope, can't tell what it is. <laughs> Probably some location that we'll see as we're watching the anime. But yeah, those are all of, that's all that's included in all of these box sets. I think my favorite ones, it's pretty obvious, but it's those, these two movies. These two sets were honestly one of my favorite sets that I've ever unboxed here. But these other ones, I mean, they're, they were okay. I mean, the artwork that they choose here on the back really looks really nice. And I actually thought this one here was also pretty good. The Fate Grand Order, the first movie or first order. But yeah, I'll probably be watching this at this series pretty soon. Uh, this month, I'm kind of focusing more on movies, so I, I'm, I haven't watched too much anime this month. But maybe next month, I'll jump into watching some more anime. And this might be one of those. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys like Fate Zero or Fate Stay Night, let me know what you guys think of this show. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.